Hello everyone, and welcome back to Food Review Club. I am in Luton, and this video is sponsored by Miller & Co, my actual accountants. Now, Miller & Co are based here in Luton, so I wanna tag Luton, so anyone watching this from Luton that might need financial help, accountancy, guidance, hit them up. Steve has been an absolute blessing. Steve and the team, including Gaynor, hello Gaynor, <laughs> have been a blessing for me and my businesses. All of my businesses are registered there, and some of them, a couple, probably wouldn't even be going now for the difficult times we've had if it wasn't for Miller & Co. Like, unbelievable. That logo down there, I'll put a link to their website in the comments below. However, if you've got any inquiries, or are you in, or you're interested, and think, you know what, I might need some help, go and check them out. Now, we are here at Simmons. Now, I've never heard of them before, but there's one part of this that really caught my eye and attention. Baking since, baking since 1838. That's quite an impressive stat. Um, just chatting to the lovely ladies and team inside. Very clean, well presented, wonderful little bakers. Apparently it started in Hatfield. This is just one of their branches. Awesome. First impressions, wonderful cake selection, fresh sandwiches, and they also got a hot food counter at the end. You might see my drink watch as well. Mm -hmm. I'll do that up front today. You ready? <coughs> Lucasaid. This is British medicine at its finest. If you got ill as a kid and your parents didn't give you Lucasaid, were you even ill? I doubt it. Right, what have I got in here? I've got the house special, ready? Breakfast bat. I've gone for bacon, sausage, mushroom, and hash brown. All hot in the counter, ready to go, brown sauce, done. I've got maybe have something special in the back pocket too. Come in first things first, come in and have a look. Here we go, hash brown, really like well done mushrooms, kind of how I like them to be fair. Bacon, super well done, sausages all done on a classic baker's bap. We love our baps, bacon and sausage, egg in the UK. Let's test this out to give it a food review club score. Simmons, step up to the plate, let's go. The bacon, the root. <clears throat> <clears throat> the bacon kind of ruined it. It is incinerated really hard. However, I'll show you. Uh, I like bacon like that. Do you? Right, mm, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> However, the mushrooms, the sausage, the bat, the bat structure, really good. I haven't got over to the hash brown yet. Local. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh, good, yeah, great. Right. No, 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 don't know what you're talking about. All right. Yeah, got a bit of hash brown there as well. How much was it? I've got a drink. This. And what's in my back pocket, which was a fiver. That's four quid, I think. Four, I think it's 4.95. 4.95. One more bite. Or was that with the drink as well? Maybe. Mm, not sure. That last bite was delicious. We've got the sausage, the hash brown, the brown sauce. Get in the comments now, brown sauce or red sauce? What do you have? As a breakfast bap, I like that. Great standard of roll. The sort of clean bakery I would definitely come back to. Not over, put a little bit on the heavy side price-wise, but it's all right. 
a little bit late in the afternoon for bacon. I'll see what I've probably been sat out there for a little while. We'll let them off. Come in the morning, no doubt we'll be fresh. Now, if you hold that second with, with your free hand, I'm gonna crack open the British medicine. <coughs> Leukazide. I do like this one. However, they only had this one in the fridge. I do like the orange one, the original. When I got ill as a kid. That is orange. No, the, the plain orange one. You mean the red one? The red one. <laughs> original. <laughs> the original. My dad, bless him, would bring over Leukazide and I would feel better. Probably, probably a placebo. However, Luke said, get in touch. Maybe you do have medicinal qualities beyond sugar. Now, ladies and gents, you can't go to a bakery without getting a cake, a slice, a pastry. So I got one. Probably my favorite item you can get, a sweet item from a bakery. Ready? Oh, I didn't get it in shot. Do, it, not. do it again. <coughs> the Simmons chocolate caramel shortbread. This was a fiver. And I thought that's like a mat sized portion. So I absolutely love caramel shortbread. So let's crack into it. We'll give this a little kind of a review as well. But I must say, their cakes and other pastries and stuff looked amazing. I'll go and have a look. Oh, you can if you want. <laughs> Potentially, I'll pick the worst possible option. You were like, there was Christmas puddings in there. All right, it's just like smash up, smashes up into. Oh, there we go. Hands up in the comments now if you absolutely love a caramel slice. You ready? Oh, look at that. Look in a little, like, look at those little crispy bits on the outside. The caramel in there. Let's dive in. That's good. Creamy chocolate. Sweet, luxurious caramel. And that really nice. Beautiful base. Buttery biscuit base. <laughs> this is what I've got in my, in my bed. Yeah. Dog watch. Two pugs. Beautiful dogs. Amazing dogs. Shout out to the pug life out there. That is sensational. All good British bakers do a killer selection of desserts too. So I'm gonna give this a score now. Simmons. Oh yeah. Alright. Bacon cheese, 838 Simmons. Have you been here before, gents? Yeah. Right, you know better than me. If, what would you give this place that score out of 10? If you were, if you were going to give it a score out of 10, what would you give it? Five. Five? <laughs> and you still burn in? Yeah. Not good then, no? Not that great, no. No. All right. <laughs> Five out of 10. Wait, there's actually... <laughs> you put them off going in. Wow. There we go, guys. I think I reminded him. I can't hold it, Jess. He's just trying to pie me off with their stuff. <laughs> now he's now going into Lord's Pharmacy. Can't make up his mind. Bless him. Right. Five out of ten is on the harsh side. That bacon sausage sandwich. <laughs> you just see wrapper there. <laughs> no. It was decent. My bacon was incinerated and kind of ruined it for me a little bit. I'm going to give it like a, a Miller & Co. 6.9. Not going to quite get into the sevens, however, I did love the form, love the structure, and I love the dessert. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please get in the comments, give us a like, give us a share, give us a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. And if you need an accountant and you live in Luton, Bedfordshire area, please go and check out Miller and Co. I love you all, and that was a review. <laughs>